Hi everyone. Today we are doing a quick craft on a cotton round. It is an environmentally friendly option to a um, cotton ball or a cotton round if you've seen cotton rounds. They look like this. They're going to look like this when we're done. Um, terry cloth on one side, flannel on another. Obviously I've used this one a lot. There is also a flannel on flannel option if you can't get terry cloth, but most Dollar Trees have um, washcloths that you could get. Um, I am starting to see various fabric in um, Dollar Tree. I don't know if they have flannel, but you can either recycle an old flannel or you could get flannel from the remnant bin at um, Joann's. This one that I'm going to use for today is uh, actually a Girl Scout flannel. It has the different badges for the Girl Scouts and I think that's kind of cool. And again, it's just a quick quick craft so I'm not going to iron my fabric. But um, for today, I want to, like I said, I prefer the terry cloth one because I feel it feels better on my face and I like that it, it absorbs the liquid better and stuff. So, and then what you do is you could just wash them when they get a little raggedy. This one I'm kind of using as a coaster for my um, soap dispenser because it keeps getting water underneath it. So the things you'll need besides terry cloth from either a washcloth or a towel um, and flannel. And as you see here, I have a glass, all right? Uh, the, the mouth of the glass will, tell, will um, be how big your um, cotton round will be. Like this one was made from this glass. So the cotton round is obviously nice and large. This one's a little bit smaller. I made it from a smaller glass, but really you can use any glass you have available. I'm using chalk, okay, to help um, make my pattern. And what I do is I obviously just upended my glass and took the chalk and drew around the glass and already, um, did the circles on on the terry cloth and the flannel you can't really see the circles on the flannel too well a little bit and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause and i'm going to cut out my rounds and then um i also will be using my sewing machine as you see on this one i don't know if you could see it i do like a zigzag stitch to put it together um but you could sew it by hand it's not a big deal if you want to do it by hand. It'd be something you do while you're watching TV or something. But I like to use my sewing machine. So let me pause and cut out my patterns. Okay, so I cut out the rounds that I'm going to use to make the cotton round. Just to review, we have terry cloth. We have flannel, okay? And I have a glass to use to make the as a pattern. And I have chalk to trace around. And I have scissors, obviously, to cut out the flannel, but you also will need a needle and thread to sew it together if you're going to sew by hand or a sewing machine and thread. I don't know why I'm saying thread. It should be obvious if you're using the sewing machine, but I'm just going there. I am personally going to do a zigzag stitch on these um, pieces to put everything together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just put you know, bad side to bad side. On the terry cloth, it really doesn't matter what side. And then I'm just gonna zigzag stitch around. Make sure you double back at least one at the beginning and at the end to make sure it sticks pretty well. I'm gonna go sew this real quick and then I'm gonna come back and show you the final product. All right, I sewed, I did a zigzag stitch. I could clip a little bit to make it all nice and even, but these are just for me. And again, it's a quick craft. So this is what they look like. And then, like I said, you could wash them in your regular laundry. Um, I know the just flannel ones, I usually have to iron out after I um, wash them, but these are pretty good just to wash. They kind of lay flat and stuff like that. So. There's another easy quick craft for you. Enjoy.